welcome to the Frisco Podcast. I'm your guest host today, Nicole Barron, sitting with Ann Anderson of Anderson Insurance here in Frisco. Hi, Ann. Hi, how are you, Nicole? Good. It's always a pleasure to see you. We got to do this together a year ago. Yes. Um, and at that time, we had your lovely husband with us as well to chat. And um, our relationship with you is so wonderful. You're one of our favorite clients because you're so fun to work with. You bring great content for us and the community adores you. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> I love our community, so it makes it easy. And it's always been a great relationship with Lifestyle Frisco. So. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. So you and I were chit-chatting beforehand and trying to catch up personally. Yes. a little bit. And it was fun to talk about where your kiddos are now and how things have changed for your family in the last, what would you say, 10, 15 years? How long have you been here again? We just at 15 years. 15 yes. 15 years. <sighs> So long. And yeah. we, won't, we won't do the cliche, oh, back when it was Fields on La Hacienda Ranch. We'll just breeze past that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt by the mall. Totally. <laughs> Dirt roads. It's been said. It's been said. Um, so what is new with your family? How are things going? So I think a year ago, our daughter was in college in North Carolina, but now she's done a semester at Disney in an internship there with their college program, which was amazing. Also gave her some clarity and time to look back and think. So she's moved home and is doing call-in for a semester. So our our college junior is home, which is a different dynamic. And our youngest is about to graduate from Frisco High School. So we're, um, he is very clear. He's going to go to Colin for a couple of years and then to Texas Tech. That's been, he said that for years. Uh, our, but now we're looking at colleges again because our junior needs to transfer. So oh. to finish up somewhere. So we're, we're back at that kind of, <laughs> kind of stage. But she's, she's very level headed and she has a, a much better idea of what she's, where she wants to be. So good. We yeah. have such good options here. Do you do the play the parent card? Like, you know, you could go to UNT and just be around the corner. <laughs> Are you comfortable with them going off and being wherever they want to be? You know, she just did, you know, five, six Disney. months in Orlando yeah. without a car, figuring it out. She only asked us for money once. She lived in an apartment with five other girls and had the most amazing time of her life. And Aww. I think she wants to go work for Disney for the rest of her for every forever, right? She's like she's a Disney fiend now. That's awesome. But um so I don't worry so as much, you know. Yeah. Um we are we are definitely looking at Texas colleges though. She's <laughs> she's kind of put that like I want to stay in Texas. It's easier. It you know, it's not so far away. It'd be nice to kind of finish and then and then we'll see where life takes her. So, so you know what, that's a, a unique segue into what you do professionally and are so good at is insurance. And I have to wonder because I have little kids, we're all very just living the Frisco life, haven't had to give thought to like the future future quite yet. From an insurance perspective, when you're sending kids off to college, in state, out of state, what do you have to think about? Like, what are the, I mean, that's a giant question. <laughs> it's a huge question, you know, and I will tell you that, you know, we have attorney friends. There, Of course, there's so many things that they, they t- remind us of, you know, make sure you have uh, powers of attorney. You have, there's a, a number of legal documents. When our kids turn 18, they immediately are not our children anymore. They're adults in their own right. And so there's a lot of uh, legalities around that and being able to even just uh, have access. We, when you go, okay, the first rude awakening was at the college when we went to, it was called One Stop and that's where kind of the offices are. And you just went in and we wanted to find out some information about paying. We ne- we wanted to pay them. And they're like, we're sorry. Do you have the code that your student would have given you to ha- access her account? Mm. I was like, I, I want to give you money. My kid. <laughs> <laughs> She's my kid, but those are real things, and I and I I really understand the reasons for it. So, um, so yeah, even in insurance, then we think about well, we need to make sure that you know she's set up with insurance for her dorm room that she has renters insurance. We want to make sure oh. she has the right. You know, we've indicated her correctly on our car policy. Like she didn't go to college with a car, so we we made that distinction on our car insurance. Just all the little things to make sure that. You know, she's set up right. And of course, you know, at some point we'll actually put her on her own and she'll have her own insurance policy. So we have to kind of, we, we definitely want to set her up for success in that regard as well. So. Wow. I mean, so many things. I'll just have to keep in touch. And <laughs> until... Free advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, you were, we, again, we were sharing before we hit record today about seasons of life and yes. you were kind of talking about um, how dramatically things change. 
Um, what was, you know, sort of the dynamic of your life? Let's just say 15 years ago when you came to Frisco, you had littles. Yes. So and f- what were you doing? What was your day-to-day like? Yeah, 15 years ago, we were, I mean, it was Christmas season. To be, Believe it or not, we moved over the Christmas break. Crane was in... Ugh, Cream was in first grade. Harold was in, um, pre- not even, he was three years old. Um, and we were, you know, moving our whole our whole family. Uh, it was my work that brought us here. So um, if you can imagine, we were trying to figure out where we wanted to live. We we knew wherever we lived, it'd be where we lived forever. My husband was adamant. You know, Thor grew up in the same house his entire life in Bismarck, North Dakota. So he's, you know, I was a military child, so we just kind of moved all the time. <laughs> so I thought that was normal. Yeah. And uh, he's like, no, I want the kids to have the same school district. I, I don't want to hop around the Metroplex. So, you know, we just sort of landed in Frisco, which we're, we feel really thankful for, to be honest. Um but yeah, I mean, 15 years ago, I wasn't thinking about college and <laughs> and where we are today. And I was really worried about, you know, Crane was uh, wanting to get into, Crane, I think Crane did Girl Scouts, but I forget what it's called when Daisies. Man. <laughs> I think so. I haven't I gone there yet. I mean, it was doing, it was all of those things. And of course, after we moved here, um, that's when Harold was, you know, we realized Harold had some needs and some sensory, dis, you know, um, some challenges that were going to be unique to him. And so um, those all became apparent. So we were even more thankful to be in Frisco, to be honest, because the special education department here is is is. the best. It is. Absolutely the best. And constantly growing and changing to to meet the needs of the students. So, um, yeah, I, I... I will tell you, yeah, I can't even imagine. But yeah, the seasons change, right? We go from um, worrying about the the littles and all the things like, are they doing soccer? Are they doing lacrosse? Are they, you know, what are the sports they're going to choose or not choose? And then moving to, you know, middle school, high school, you know, (sighs) all the steps. And like we were talking, now um, we have the 21-year-old junior in college that moved home, which changed, changed the dynamic a little bit. We have the graduating senior who couldn't be happier that his sister is home. I mean, and, you know, my dad comes in the winter and stays with us for about three months because it's warmer here. Nice. So we have dad here, too. (laughs) (laughs) We are truly the multi-generational family. That's nice. But it's really nice. And, you know, I wouldn't change any of it, to be honest. It You know, it all presents its own struggles and its own challenges. But um, this is our life and our story, and we love it, so... That's yeah. so nice. And it's, you know, now you've got the office space and that mm-hmm. you, when was that? About a year ago, two years ago? It'll be three years in three, July. Yeah. yeah. Two and a half years. Can you believe it? No, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> and it's amazing though, because I bet back then when you had the little ones, you probably couldn't have imagined that you'd no. be, you know, in the seat that you are now, the successful business, the no. community involvement at the level that you have it, um, the investments that you've made have brought that. But um, so then I have to wonder, wh- back then, what did you imagine? Like, did you, was there another, you're so good at what you do and you're such a lovely person to know and to represent so many members of Frisco with their insurance needs. I mean, I, I you're so trustworthy and personable. It's so nice. But I wondered, did you ever have other dreams of things that you were like, I want to be a, or where did you think you'd be? Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, First of all, my family. There's a lot of entrepreneurs in my family. Oh, really? Yes, in my in our history, like my great grandfather, even and my grandfather, my dad's father owned a, a shoe repair shop and a little cafe. Oh, so cool. he, and my grandmother, did that in um, Tennessee. But anyway, so there, there's kind of that. I, I think it's in our DNA, maybe a little. Uh, I always kind of wanted something. My brother's been self-employed for years, so I always talked about it. And and I had a dream that um, perhaps one day I'd leave financial services because that's where I was all the, prior to this, um, and I would open a bookstore, a bookstore with a coffee shop. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, this is like my a, idea. Right? Like a little, like it was your idea. <laughs> and so my husband's like, "Have you watched You've Got Mail?" Uh-huh. The old Tom Hanks movie. That was a great movie. Absolutely. Right. The it shop was, around the corner. Was yeah, the little shop you? around the corner. <laughs> that would have been me <laughs> out of business when the, you know, the big store moved in. But so. <laughs> so it's not. It was. And I was telling the kids, actually, I said, you know, truth be told, my cousin and I, when we were young, little, uh, we always said we would open a horse breeding ranch in Colorado. That was <laughs> Wow, how fun is that? So, yeah, that never happened. <laughs> hey, there's still time. There's still You're time. A young lady. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. 
<laughs> okay, but the coffee shop and bookstore retirement, maybe? Maybe in like 20 years. I'll be like, oh, uh-huh. I'm bored with, I'm, I, someone else can run the insurance agency. I'm going to open my dream little coffee shop and yes. want to serve the perfect London fog because that's my drink of choice these days. Oh, it so, is? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, my gosh. I hope you do it. So, well, so right. But but no, it's just. <laughs> but so, you, yeah. but bring it, it back up to, in insurance. Bringing it back to reality, though. <laughs> You're so good at what you do. I mean, we've been able to tell stories uh, for you over the last few years. And the level of insight that you bring to things that I, I just will say that I did not think of. Like, we need you. We need you to tell us what we have not thought of to protect our homes and families. Is there like a, what do you think, and this is a, this may not be a fair question to throw at you, but what is the like biggest thing that people maybe forget about and don't consider? Is Can you answer that? Or is there just like 10 of them? <laughs> Oh, that's, yeah, it's really hard to think or of. How about, like, all the top of my... Give me one example, then. You know what? I think that what people do more often than they underinsure themselves in their auto insurance, trying to save a buck or two, they uh-huh. they way underinsure their auto insurance, because I think it's going to be so much more expensive to have the higher limits um, mm-hmm. when it comes on the liability side, and... Um, and I think that it's, you know, it's just, it's your own personal choice. But I, I think that's something that people do a lot. And I think we forget to insure ourselves. Our biggest assets is my ability to provide for my family. Mm-hmm. So it, the house isn't the biggest asset. I am the biggest asset. So if I don't have my life insurance in line, then that's, wow. you know, that's kind of the, I think those are the two biggest things. They're just, and yeah. And then, unfortunately, it's usually something sad that makes us think of it. You know, right. you know, we had a, it's just, yeah, we all know those people, we all know the stories, right? Yeah. You know, funeral services, whatever. Um, and those are the things that people just kind of neglect because I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Of course not. I, yeah. Life insurance is not sexy. It's not, it's, bo- you know, but it can be, mm-hmm. I mean, it can be if I think about that if I'm not here, my daughter still gets to go to college and my yeah. son gets to go to college still and they still could have a great life. And, Absolutely. You know. Well, just, that's, I mean, again, why we need someone like you to come and sit down and hopefully have an open mind and a teachable mind to listen to the experts say, here are some things that I've experienced and seen over the years. Please consider this. And like you said, it's up to them. It's a very personal decision, a financial decision. But at the end of the day, you bring perspective that we just might not have. So well, that's so valuable. Well, thank you. And, you know, and I will tell you, the first half of my life was on the mortgage side of the business, but I've always been in financial services. So, and um, working, having our agency uh, is just our opportunity to help people. And I tell people at the end of the day, that's just what I'm doing. I'm just giving information, whether you take it and run with it or or you're like, thanks, but this isn't for me right now. That's okay. No harm, no foul. But now you know. Yeah. You know, that's kind of my attitude. At least now you know. Exactly. So. Yeah. Well, Anne is a lovely person to know, and I just can't say it enough. I know I'm all ravey. You're but, so nice. But you are. I mean, I think that when I when you seek an agent, you want it to be someone that you feel comfortable talking to, and they're, you trust them, and they're a part of the community, and you are all of those things. Well, thanks. How do people reach you? They can call me um, at our office. The number is 214-619-4012, or my cell phone is Text me on my cell phone. It's a lot easier than calling. Just, I think we've all gotten to that world, but it's 214-491-7618. Um, our website's aninsurestx.com, not the whole Texas, just the initials TX. Um, and of course, you can always find us at 6500 Preston Road, Suite B11. So I tell everybody, ground floor, back of the building, there's a big parking lot and everything. <laughs> nice. Well, you're just everywhere and available, and it's nice that you give out that cell number. Well, I, you know, and that's the other thing. If, if you see me in a store or I'm hiding under my baseball cap because it's Saturday morning and I just like rolled out of bed and I needed to milk, just say <laughs> hello. I love running into people. I Probably one of my favorite things about Frisco is even though we're this growing and thriving city and there's just so many, there's always something to do. But I love like bumping into people at the restaurants and, um, you know, grocery stores, or where, when you're out and about, doesn't it still give you that Absolutely. small town feel? It does. It's a small, big town or yes. a big, small town, however you want to say I've that. I've been saying that. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, maybe that's where I heard it. No. Yeah, it's, but it, but I agree with you. It feels like a small town sometimes. I'll, but I just was at Target this morning and bumped into somebody that I swear I bump into all over town. And yeah. it's just, I don't know, I guess we're living the same life. Well, it, know, well, but. and it's like going to the um, the Chambers Gala on Friday night. I feel like you're, you're there with 600 of your best friends having this great party. <laughs> well, they probably are yours because you've invested I don't so know. Much. 
attached to this community. But it's just so much fun. And it, yeah. it, it was fun to like celebrate the history of the chamber and the history of the city, really. I mean, it's so intri- they're so intertwined. And Absolutely. Anyway, just seeing where we're going, it's I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to see what the next 15 years for me or 50 years for the chamber, or the, just where the city is going to be. And, yeah. you know, it's it's just a lot of fun. I think we are all just really fortunate. And even, and I'll tell you, my kiddos, especially our daughter, remember, she just went to Orlando. She went to college in North Carolina. And so when she left, she, um, one of our favorite stories is she was visiting the college and she said, why did the, the buildings are kind of just old. <laughs> and my husband's like, he said, I just realized she's never been in an education facility that's more than 10 years old. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. I know our poor kids. That's the only thing is that the awakening they'll have when they, but even that, that's a good thing to go out and realize. That's a great thing. It's my not sis- all fancy. My sister-in-law yeah. told her he will never again have the opportunity to be in a, in a, such a small town. She was in a really small town called Cullowy, which is technically a geographical area. It's not even a town. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it was such a great experience for her, you know? Yeah. And if you can ever do the Disney College program, it's amazing. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Adults can do it as non-traditional students. Mm-hmm. Great leadership training, customer service training, all of that. All the best. Mm-hmm. You think, think of Disney. They do yeah. everything just on point, perfect. Have a magical day. Have a magical day, a Disney yeah. day. Uh, yes, exactly. We're, we're total Disney fanatics. And uh, <laughs> she, yeah. But I'll, you know what? Like, I think that she, I was telling you before we started, she just got a job offer and I honestly think her experience there opened that door. So yeah. Yeah. It's a good anyway. testimonial for that. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah. So. Well, and I appreciate you letting us get to know you a little bit personally as well, that Thanks. you would allow us to dig in a little bit to your personal life, hear about your family. Um, but again, I have to say, I think that's a huge part of, you know, who, Choosing an agent is somebody that you like. Well, honestly. thank you. Well, I hope so. And, <laughs> and I... has the expertise, which I know you have. I mean, years and years. And We're really fortunate. Denise in our office is amazing. She's been in insurance forever. You know, Thor mm-hmm. joined me a couple of years ago. Yeah. And, um, he has his own expertise there. And it's just been, um, th- we, yeah, and honestly, we just love helping people. We have some fun things planned for this year. So, you know, as we get out of the office more and um, just, anyway, uh, we're we're hoping to put together a really fun summer program, so hopefully we'll see that rolling out. We've got to get some interns in place, and anyway, but we'll see. Oh, good. Well, you'll <laughs> be sure to tell us, and we'll tell everyone. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much. Thank you, Anne. See you.